everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Obel by Delicious Export Help. This one is from Washington Boy, located in the town Traunstein in Oberbayern, and it's the very uh, south eastern part of uh, Oberbayern, so very southeastern part of uh, Germany. And it comes from the town Traunstein, as I mentioned, Washington Boy. I've had one other um, brewery from this town on my channel and it was the Hofbräu House Traunstein but this one is a smaller brewery and of course for that reason more interesting it was uh, very hard to, to uh, get hold of um, comparing to the Hofbräu House Traunstein which is quite easy to get hold of but I've been reviewing that one before on the channel uh, from that brewery but this is all about the uh, washing Obreu located in the same town and it comes in the euro bottle shape as you can see and I can show you the top cap of Washington Boy Export Hell No Back Label, and here is the uh, top label, and here is the main label. Extremely beautiful looking label, one of my favorite labels actually, to be honest. Really, really great label. I really love it when it's uh, a picture of a town on the label. I love the color combination also red, white, yellow, and the green on this one. Makes it look really beautiful. And of course, always draw a term from export from uh, Bavaria and all Bavaria. So I'm continuing my journey in Bavaria, um, trying to find as many brews in uh, Bavaria as possible to uh, to have beers from. Uh, um, of course, I'm gonna read closer from this label later on my review uh, for you. But let's start with open up the bottle like that and pour it up into the for the beer cell without getting lost. Always important to use the right type of glass for uh, the beer style, in my opinion, because it really helps the right taste to to uh, appear. Um, personally, I, I really like this um, this uh, glass that I'm using today, a Krug or Seidla. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a little bit left in the bottle, so we can wait with that. But Let's take a look at it, how beautiful it, it uh, appears in the glass. Uh, I hope you agree with me about that. Look at the two fingers, the white foam crown. I can show it closer to you, the foam head, how it's looking like. And the nice golden color of it, which makes it look really, really pleasant and nice, of course. Very uh, pale yellow color of it. So that's how uh, a nice export hem should look like. Let's get the aroma also. Really, really pleasant and fresh and nice. Of course, Export Hell is a little bit uh, more rich in taste comparing to the normal Bavarian Hellas. But uh, let's see if we can pour up the rest like this. Or have it open to the glass. Let's put the bottle right here, the great looking bottle. And let's give it a try the washing of Roy Export Hell Post. Um, real, real fresh and nice taste. It's um, having a um, very well balanced taste between the raw materials. That's something that I like really much. Uh, and uh, it all just appeals to me very, very much. Uh, so, of course, it's a big recommendation. High quality raw materials, that's also some, that's something that is easy for me to feel in the ingredients. But let's take a closer look at the label once again. I mean, I can't show it to you too many times. Washing on by Export Hell, Urish, Würzisch. Doesn't this look fantastic, this label? In my opinion, it does, without a doubt. So, what does it say here on the bottle? Privat Brauerei seit 1587. So that's old, no doubt about it. Washing on by Traunstein. Zutaten Brauerei Gassmanns Hopfen. Uh, Washington Boy 83278 Traunstein Oberbayern uh, Export Hell Urich Würzisch Gebaut nach dem Reinheitsgebot von 1516 uh, That's the information Alcohol content 5.3% volume Which is also very normal for the beer style uh, export Which as I mentioned this is a little, a little bit stronger compared to a normal Helles, Bavarian Helles Lager uh, and of course, I'll also link to the Boots website in the description box below, so feel free to check out that as well. I really hope that you're going to do because it's 
a great looking yeah, website from this small brewery. This is the type of website that I like really much. Uh, I'm gonna show to you my book about Bavarian breweries that I'm having. Of course, since it's my big interest, we have this book by Markus Raupasch. And here you can see uh, Jakob Washingo, uh, which is located in Bavaria and uh, everything like that. And uh, the information always interesting to take a look at how the bridge is looking like, reading some history about it during my reviews, in my opinion. Um, recommendation Washingo Ultrunk with 5.2% volume, Tomstein, Oberbayern, Jakob Washingo and Son. Uh, Washingo by VE, 1587. Theo Washingo is the brewmaster, finds the beer out of Traunstein's Kleinste Brauerei, St. Oswald Straße, 83278, Traunstein. Washingo Brauhaus. Yeah, that's inf information from that book about this brewery. And of course, I do also have some information from this brewery's website. Uh, if you're interested, finest beers from Townstein's smallest brewery. That is our motto. We stand for these values, product quality. We process the best raw materials from Bavaria. Hops, uh, malt, fresh spring water from Laubau, Ruhpolding. Freshness guarantee. Maintaining this quality by delivering fresh and chilled goods via short distribution channels around the chimney. Customer proximity. The focus is on the satisfaction of, satisfaction of our customers. We are here for you personally. 1587, founding on the Washingel Brewery by Hans, by uh, Brewer Hans Washingel in Wilshofen. 1653, uh, grandson Nikolaus marries Brewer's uh, daughter from Rotalmünster and settles the business there. 1891, when after a beer price increase uh, from 20 to 22 PFL, his children came out of school with signs hanging that said, We don't drink 22 PF beer. Jakob Forschinger had, had enough of Lower Bavaria. 1892, Jakob Forschinger bought the uh, Scheicho brewery in Townstein and his brother Fritz continued to run the business in Rotal Münster. 1903, since the beer output was constantly growing, today's brewery building was rebuilt in Oswaldstraße. The malt house remained on the town square. 1933, Jakob's son, uh, Fritz Washington, takes over the brewery. 1938, a Linde refrigeration compressor, compressor was purchased. Now the beer could be brewed all year round, even in the winter. Uh, even if the winter was mild and there was no ice to fill the cellars with. 1963, son Theodor takes over the brewery. 1971, extension of the couch uh, to the Washington Bräustübel, the Washington Utrunk, is served here for the first time. 1997, uh, 1987, 400 company anniversary. Uh, 1993, conversion to Washington Bräustübel to the Washington Brauhaus. 94, the Sons Theo, Master Brewer and Rudi Brewer Clerk take over the brewery. 95, the Washington Weisse is born. 96, the large wheat beer of the test regional magazine Kimgau Langung Leute, the Washington Weisse achieved in comparison with 11 wheat beers from regional breweries right away and undisputed first place. 98. A new loading hall with office is built. 99. Redesign and fortification of the brewery country yard. 99. The washing of pills is offered in the 0.33 liter Nostalgia bottle. The brewery's uh, brothers Theo and Rudolf washing of brew five types of beer, all of which are made from the best Bavarian quality malt, selected aromatic hops, special pure yeast and crystal clear brewing water. 2001. For the sake of the environment, new energy-saving bottle cleaning machine is purchased. 2003. The bottle filler, crate cleaners and bottle dispenser are replaced with new machines. Uh, once again, 2003. The Washington Eliza took the first place among 12 breweries in a large wheat beer test uh, conducted by the magazine Kimgau Land und Leute. 2004. 10th anniversary for brothers Theo, Theo and Rudolf Washington. A good reason to toast in the uh, 417 years of a fresh washing of beer, bottom up. Sounds great, of course. But I think that's it for now regarding washing of oil. Hope you like my videos and see you again in the next Bavarian video.